So it's Ian from SS8000 Cars and today is going to be a good day. Um, we're going to test drive the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. Really looking forward to it. Now as you know it was introduced recently predominantly to replace the DBS but also partly to replace the Vanquish and Vanquish S until the new mid-engined model comes out. So we're up in London, really looking forward to it and um, I'll catch up with you when we're at the car. I think the, the gloss in this car shows off all the lines. Yes, exactly, exactly. I, I right, wow. And point this, point is, point. this is onyx black. Onyx black. So it's black with a slight silver, you've got a silver black in the paint. Bloody hell, that is such an impressive machine. Yeah, so this one's actually right. been done quite, quite subtly in that we haven't done a carbon roof on this one. Everything's body colour, so right. body colour mirror caps, body colour roof, straight on roof panel. Right. And in the interior, we've basically matched. We've got a black leather with a red. So you've basically got the standard mesh here as well. Standard mesh. Right. So standard on the side, louver as well, and gloss right. black. Black on the mirror caps. Actually, I think they have done glass, gloss black on the mirror caps. And then onyx okay. on the roof strake and yes. the roof panel. And the, and the metallic really shows, doesn't it? Especially under these lights. Oh, I mean, and just... oh, yeah, when I back it up, you see it even more. But wow. this, this is the different, this is the other alloy I mentioned. So this is my personal favorite. I like it. Um, I think it looks very sharp. They yes. do it in silver and also a two, well, actually four different finishes they do. Do they? Really. Okay, right. So uh, there's plenty to play with. Um, so yeah, it's got contrasting red caliper. Yep. Again, you use smoke lamps on the back, so the clear, clear lamps on the back of the car. Yes. You can do, so standard on the rear lamps is red, but if you want to have this kind of sportier, sharper right. look, you go for the smoke rear lamps. You always get the black, quite the black exhaust tips, that's standard. Right. But as I was saying, you will get very soon, they'll do this option of the titanium exhaust. I haven't heard it, I haven't, haven't seen it, um, but I'm sure that is it's it just a bit more rorty it's than the... lighter and right. more raucous than what yes, we've already right. got okay. so that's going to be loud <laughs> what i'll do is i'll just back it up yeah so do get, yeah it's, do it's, it's, uh, a seriously beautiful machine do you know from almost every angle this car looks good Love the Super Legera sign on the sorry Super Legera sign on the uh, on the bonnet next to the the mesh both sides. The Super Legera sign is that standard? Yes. Yes. That's, standard, exactly. that's beautiful, actually. I love that. Now the only thing you I don't know whether <laughs> I'm very precise with my cars, as, as you probably yeah. have gathered. Probably would want to lose the DBS on the sides. Yeah, okay. Again, I mean, again I, I'm going to reserve judgment about the Aston Martin because I'll, I'll, having seen it properly now, you, in your Goodwood, you couldn't get behind the car yeah. because basically there was the girl on the desk here. Oh, so so really you couldn't tight. see that. So you only really had room for one person to squeeze yeah, through the. I know what you mean. So you couldn't just stand back. And actually, the Aston Martin sign, I think if you did have it in, in the sort of carbon type first colour, time we, it would. The first time we saw it was. Yes. The more time being, the more of these we're seeing now, it does look absolutely beautiful. Is the, um, I see the lip is in carbon fibre. The spoiler here, the car is that always standard? carbon fibre. Always carbon fibre. I mentioned fiber. earlier that if you do go for that body pack in the tinted gloss black carbon, that would right. also be that, that tinted gloss black. Right. But you okay. always have carbon fibre here. Right. This is much more aggressive now if you're comparing to the same aero, the aero blade they had in the DB11. Well, that was a pop-up, wasn't this, it? That was yeah. a pop-up. This is fixed, but it's much more aggressive. We've got right. more aerodynamics going on now. If you have a look also under the... Uh, this 
so if you have a look at that side louver compared to what we had in the well, my, my criticism with the DB11 was whilst it looked great, yeah. it used to get filthy. That is and, true. And, that and, is it, and you still get a little that bit of that. Yeah, it's I mean, all you carbon fibre now inside on the bonnet, all carbon fibre punched What was it? Is it aluminium on the exactly, DB11? Yeah. Yeah. Right, and okay. And the boot as well is carbon fibre. But this, I've got to say, when you see this in the, when it's done in carbon, right, it looks really, really, fantastic. really nice. And you can have these and this in carbon fibre? Uh, so on the DBS that will all be body colour. Right. The only section that come in carbon fibre was the body pack, if I just go back to okay. shut this one. Down. So the front splitter here, always carbon fibre. Right. The rear spoiler and that rear and the rear diffuser are all in carbon fibre. But it's not even it's not an option to have the sides in carbon fibre. No, 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 right, no. Okay. always body colour. Always body colour. So your options are really round. The mirror caps. Mirror roof, caps, roof. Roof straight. And so the inside on this one, you've got uh, the yeah, FMT, you've got the black leather inside. Yes. Done it quite subtly. The full leather steering wheel on this one rather than the outer car. Right. And you've got piano black on the trim right. rather than the chopped carbon. So, so what are the optional extras on this particular car? So if Tom? we're talking about the options on, the, if we started on the exterior, on the exterior of the car, right? As you know, with Aston Martin, when it comes to the options, the majority of it is styling and aesthetics, right? This comes very highly spec and standard. So we're looking at what's going on. Just turn this off one second. <laughs> yes, it's only the. So, right. The meshes, the side blades, all of the roof panels and straight, this is all standard. Right. So it's the alloys here in the gloss black diamond tan finish is an option. Right. Standard would be silver. Okay. The contrasting red caliper. Having the well, what does the caliper come in normally? It would be a satin, it was a dark kind of dark dye, grey. Like a satin, yeah, a dark, yep. very dark grey, almost black. Okay. Um, if we go around to oh, the back, it's not this has been quite it's not going crazy compared to the car we've got in our showroom on display. The smoked rear lamps would have been another option as well. Right. Um, that really is the exterior. It's they've really kept it pretty straightforward, except it for the wheels. It, you've got to take a. You sort of got to take a balance with something like this. It is such an extrovert car. It, you've got to be careful, I think, of what you do to it because I think. I mean, I like the carbon roof, but does it need it? I mean, that, that's always the question, isn't it? It really depends on. It, as soon as you know which colour you're going for, whether we're going for you know a black or maybe a light, you know, a light blue or whatever it may be, mm. completely changes what you're going to do with the rest of the car. Something like this and a black, you can play very safe and go for just a very straightforward, like this car is here, all black, yes. and not and not go too crazy. But the cars that we're seeing coming through in the lighter colours and the satin paint finishes, they are going for carbon fibre Fiber, exterior right, okay. options yes. uh, and stronger colours and the interiors as well. You can have a duotone interior. This is just a monotone interior in this one. Show you the options on the inside. Yes, sure. So. The seat shape is always the same with DBS. We've got the much sportier uh, seat shape. Yeah, you now. can see it's got sort of pretty terrific yeah. bolsters, doesn't it? So to have it in leather is an yes. option. So standard is the Alcantara and leather, like the car in the showroom. Okay. Um, to have this spicy red contrast stitch, another option, option. as well. Yep. I think you'd want to do that, wouldn't you? Because uh, if you're going to put kind of contrast, just to break even if, it, yeah, yeah, even if it's maybe a silver stitch, you want something there to accentuate kind of the shapes and patterns on the seat. Having this quilting as well, that's another option. They won't all have that, so that's okay. an option to have that there. Okay. Seat belts in the red finish right, as well, finish. would right. standard okay. would be uh, that dark grey. If you have a look in the roof as well, they've done a leather headlining on this one. Oh yeah, that's nice actually. So standard would be Alcantara. Again, with the sort of mottled effect exactly. on the so on the roof as well. Exactly what you've got on the seats, which right. is an option. Uh, so that one that is there. leather, yeah. Yeah, that's all leather standard. on the headlining. Yeah. Right. Um, in terms of the, and the other big one on this, it's got the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Right. So w without that, you'd have the premium Aston Martin sound system. Okay. That said, operating all of the cars we've got coming through, because of the, the price point and where the car seat is in the market, people are naturally going for yes, the, I mean, the Bang & Olufsen I can and understand the bigger that. options yeah. on the car. 
I, I always have to think very seriously about what I do with music, though, because as, as some of my, my viewers will probably find immensely boring to hear, I tend to listen to Radio 4. <laughs> well, but, you know, it's, 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 it's <laughs> you, up to you. It's completely up you, to you. You we take a view, I, don't I, I, mean, can't, I can't force you to get, get going for Bang & Olufsen, but it's a nice thing to have. And obviously, when you start the car yeah, up, the, the lenses rise yeah. up and it looks lovely. And when my, when my guys are in the car, then they, they immediately plug in their, their iPhones uh, and stuff Bluetooth, like that. So, yeah then it makes sense but just for me you, you'd be surprised I, I organize my day through coming up first thing in the morning but I'm always slotted and in by the time Radio 4 finishes this so <laughs> I don't listen to anything else and on the way back it's generally I'm trying to leave at 4.30 and yeah. uh, well, at 5 o'clock what comes simple, on it's, uh, life, <laughs> it's today life. you see. So. Well, the other thing you just so you're aware you've got on the embroidered wings also on the uh, yeah that, that on is the seat, that so is nice actually you, I like that you don't have to have that you've got no, the option no, of having not... embossed or embroidered and they also have the DBS uh, you can have that embroidered and embossed into the seat no but that's a nice touch I nice like that touch, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wing, that. people love the embroidered wings if you get this the moth uh, what do you call that the quilting the quilting where the cracks are quilting does that automatically come with the centre console there or is that yeah, another yeah so that if how it comes right now if you selected tracks are quilting right. that is is how it will come. The only okay. way it wouldn't, you have to select to have it on the roof as well. That's right. an option. Um, so standard, you just get straight leather, and also having that stitch and that contrast. Do you know? I think I think for me, and again, I'll I'll give some serious thought to this, but I think for me, I quite like the piano wood. Yeah. I quite I like the quilting. Yeah. I quite like the one in the showroom okay. where you've got the the, 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 the Alcantara. Oh, I, I, okay. and, and then I personally would leave the roof in Alcantara, yeah. I think. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I'll it's very, it, it really depends on what we're going for, kind of what you start on the exterior and then you can try and normally follow it through on the inside. Yeah, I mean, I, you see, again, I think if I'm getting the red fleck in the, in the paint, yeah. then I would probably want to pick it up a with red, the calipers a red caliper. and then the red stitching. I think that's important. Yeah. I don't personally go so, mad over those yeah. but they're quite a nice red yeah no it's not if that makes you know it's, 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 it's a face. sort of the, it's not too you know the Porsche off. red I know what you mean they're, they're just too much in your face name, yeah. Um, yeah so the other option I mentioned you can have the twill carbon fibre if you wanted to go for something sportier on the uh, yeah, I, quite, I, I'm, I quite like the I mean you know my view here is only if I think I'm it's really necessary will I opt for it. I think okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep the, the sort of the overall costs of the, the car at a reasonable yeah. level. Yeah, it, I mean, it really, yeah, it really does depend on what you go for. The other thing I mentioned earlier, you can do, uh, this is all monotone on the inside. Um, you can have a duotone interior, right, which okay. is a two-tone color. Uh, which does look lovely. We have seen it being done and it does look great. And this is, I mentioned here, full leather on the steering wheel. The one in the showroom has the Alcantara and leather. Quite like the Alcantara. So it's, it's a nice... It's and a also, nice. It pick, if you're going to have the roof and, and maybe the doors with a bit of Alcantara, it sort of picks it up, doesn't it? Yeah, on I mean, it, it's, it's, again, it's down to your preferences. You can have the jewellery pack in silver or carbon fibre. Right. They do this carbon fibre finish as well. But I've got to say the dark chrome, how it's been done here is by, I, I think looks really well. Really oh, it's good. beautiful, yes. I couldn't agree with you more. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, drive. Yeah, let me... Don't have to actually, it's actually quite quiet in here, isn't it? I mean, so that's yeah, our... the GT mode is, yeah. is very calm. That's yes. this is what I was talking about earlier and that it's got multiple personalities. So it's very, it can be very, very calm or it can be something completely different so yes. right now if I so GT exhaust valve shut not much there it's still pretty calm yeah. put it into the sports sports plus oh, yeah. completely changes the character different animal in time yeah. isn't it yeah so you mean fine for driving in London basically fine. oh I mean you yeah. could it's such an easy car to drive that's the weird that's the weird thing about this DBS is that it's such so much power and it's so instant but then at the same time it's so comfortable do the valves first thing in the morning do the valves open up they do they I mean, do, they right, do okay. but then as soon as soon they as calm it, down it, quite calm quickly down pretty yeah, quickly okay. yeah so i'll be disturbing the family again that's yeah the, you'll that's, still be upsetting the neighbors for sure that's the advantage of the panamera of course it has the the electric element 
So everything that we see here in terms of the way that that's sort of quilted, that's all standard. So yeah, I mean, the, the only this thing is... that you can select here is basically this, the, I mentioned the keeper, I mentioned the, the jewellery pack yes. that comes around the steering wheel, the gear paddles around the infotainment. You right. can have that in either the silver finish right. or cut, they also do a carbon finish around here as well. Okay. Um, but otherwise that same layout with the touch pad and uh, yeah, is all, always the same. Okay. And this is pretty DB11-ish, isn't it? It, I mean, it, it, it is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's from that same platform, but it is a completely different animal. Yeah, I know what the car itself is, yes, without a doubt. It feels, it feels different even, even sitting in this position. I quite like the, uh, the tinted uh, rear glass, actually. I think that's quite oh, smart. The real amps, yeah. yeah, yeah. On a colour like this, I think on the black especially. On the black is, yeah. or even the, the like the, the silvers and the greys looks really nice. The one in the showroom didn't have the uh, the smoked glass at the back, uh, did it? It does. Or it does. It does. It it does, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't notice. Although, of course, I've got no reference, have I? So no, yeah. it does. The thing I couldn't do in the showroom was the best part is that. Yeah. And of course you can't, the showroom, you can't get far enough back. Okay, I think, I do genuinely think in terms of, I heard a couple of people say that, you know, their favourite Aston of all time is sort of Vanquish, Vanquish S. Yeah. Um, but I think this is even better looking. For actually, it's generate for, I think the front on this car is probably the best one of, if not the best I think so. car yeah, right absolutely. Now, like, on the market. Absolutely. So I had a drive and her, and wow, what a machine. Absolutely love it. It's really got the, uh, the balance right, I would say. Obviously coming into the Park Lane garage is uh, something that uh, you don't want to do yourself, so clearly I'm not. But I, it, it's very much the GT car. I mean, I think if you, you drive in sport on the, uh, on the, the the gear change and the the throttle responses then it's um, it's really good if you I think tended to keep the suspension setting in the softest possible setting I think for London because you're not so worried about the roll but very responsive and my goodness me does it get a lot of looks it's just absolutely unbelievably looked at I think more so than the uh, GT3 certainly and probably more so than the, uh, the McLaren maybe, although I haven't driven the McLaren much in town, so I suspect that probably draw a few looks as well. But it's just, it's a very elegant car. You've sort of taken the DB11, which is already, a, I think, one of the best looking GTs on the market, and they've just made it better. I mean, it's just just beautiful to behold isn't it i mean i i've never come across a car i don't think there's more beautiful than this one only thing is as i think has been ably demonstrated by tom it's um you know in a tight garage you've got to swivel it around a bit didn't get up to any great speed so i, I really can't tell you what it'd be like um on the motorway um, or aggressively hunting it round uh, corners but it felt very together and the different suspension settings as well were actually quite comfortable you know I really um, even in sports plus perfectly usable unless you're on very uneven roads and certainly coming down Baker Street they're relaying the tarmac so you know it was quite bumpy so I turned it back into the lowest setting there but you know, it's a machine and a half. I think Aston have judged it absolutely perfectly. Really, really impressed with uh, with the DB, DBS Superleggera. A stunning car. So, I'm going to leave you there. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll discuss whether we should buy one. I'd be interested in your comments. Put them below. Thanks, guys. Ian from SSA Thousand Cars, signing off.